What is up, Cretans? Jay here with uh, an unboxing. And I know this is usually Bob Stick, so I hope I'm not intruding too much on uh, what is his territory. But I wanted to do an unboxing today because I had something delivered this morning uh, from the world's fastest FedEx delivery driver here in beautiful Portage, Michigan. Uh, like, no joke, seriously. I heard the FedEx truck pull up, went out to our front door, and by the time I got there, and we're talking like 15 seconds, he was already sprinting back across the lawn to his time-traveling FedEx truck so he can just continue to deliver packages faster than anyone has any right to. But what he delivered was something I've been waiting for from Kickstarter for a little while, and as you guys know, I do love Kickstarter, and I talk about Kickstarter, and uh, I think we talked about this game in the first episode of the Nerd or Not podcast. Uh, this is Rail Raiders Infinite from Soda Pop Division, uh, or from Soda Pop Miniatures and Ninja Division. Um, and this is a game that is uh, kind of emulating the uh, first episode of Firefly where they did the train heist uh, and turning that into uh, a dice rolling uh, heist game for you to play with your friends. Uh, now it is a competitive game. Uh, I'm, I'm sure there's you know, cooperative aspects to it, but the goal is to be the most wealthy of the uh, heisties uh, on your way out the door. Um, if you're not familiar with... Uh, Soda Pop Miniatures and Ninja Division, they are the guys behind the absolutely fucking brilliant um, uh, uh, Super Dungeon Explorer, which is my favorite uh, board game of probably like the last 15, 20 years. Um, it is everything marvelous and wonderful about your favorite 16-bit video games from the Super Nintendo and Genesis era and kind of squished into this lovely uh, tabletop setting. Uh, and this is their take on a, a Western, and I'm really excited because Westerns are awesome. Uh, so here's some of the stuff that we, we got with the game. Uh, up first is the rulebook. Uh, you get some law bots, you get some of our heist people, and then we'll look at some of the stuff on the inside. You are playing uh, poker with dice, basically. Uh, I see some more of the artwork there from some of the characters in the game. Uh, and it's beautiful, and it's chibi, and it's it's cute, and it's wonderful. Um, I also got something which I don't remember as being part of it, uh, but this is from uh, Huckleberry's Riverboat Roll, y'all. And uh, I don't know exactly what this is, but it, it came with a, a subset of rules on what to do, and I'm thinking this is just kind of like, fuck it, play poker dice, go for it, which is pretty cool. Uh, of course, to play poker dice, you need a lot of dice. And if you know anything about Soda Pop Miniatures, they do not disappoint in the dice area. So this is my sack of poker dice to play with this game. Uh, there are 40 dice in here, and I'm sure I'm going to use every single one of them, and all of them are vitally important to how the game is going to work. Uh, one of the neat things that we got uh, as one of our stretch goals was uh, rather than just using the punchable money, and if you know anything about board games, punching stuff out is one of the best parts of any game. Uh, rather than just getting the punchable stuff, uh, we also got plastic tokens and plastic money markers for the double dollars for you to go through because as as you know as is the good case with any uh, anime based game set in the, like the west like Trigun uh, spoilers there is someone that kind of looks like Bash the Stampede in this game uh, it's always the, the double dollar that is the, uh, the the currency of choice one of the other neat things we got was uh, this token uh, and it is a real dealer's token a real poker chip uh, which is pretty neat. That's going to indicate first player. Uh, and then we got some other stuff here. We got... Uh, let me show you the back of the box real quick. There's some more of that just lovely Soda Pop Miniatures artwork. Uh, we got our loot cards, along with some of the wanted cards for the, uh, the heisties. We got some Lawbot cards with their missions to protect the locomotive and other information on the Lawbots. And then we got what look to be item cards, which are always fun. And then, of course, there are the train cards. So as the game is played, what you do is you lay out a train, um, because, you know, you're stealing from a train. And you are to move through the train, defeat the law bots, make the heist. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can steal from your buddies, so there's a little bit of a munchkin stab your friend in the back aspect to it. Um, and the, the nice thing about this, and the nice thing about everything that Soda Pop does, is it lends itself naturally to expansions. So this isn't just something where you're going to be able to play this once and that's it and you're done. Uh, like you can just look at this and say, well, okay, let's do, let's say this new uh, Murder on the Orient Express movie does really well. They could do an expansion based on that, you know, their own spin on it. 
But you get some really neat stuff, like you've got the locomotive. You've got a passenger car. You got a few passenger cars here. You've got a sleeper car. It's got information on how many lawbots and the uh, the the loot that's available on it. You've got a stock car. It says Raiders on this car roll an additional die when they take an action to show down lawbots. You've got the dining car. Let's see. The value and the lawbot amount goes up on this one. Then you have the safe, which uh, is probably going to be pretty awesome for, for Heiston, which has uh, four and four for each of those. You've got the caboose. Another passenger car, another sleeper car, two stock, another dining car. And then, oh, well, of course. If you're going to be on a train and you're going to be doing mass transit, if we learned anything from Titanic, is that there is where the riffraff sleeps and stays. And then, of course, there is the high-class sleeper. Mm, yes, my favorite. Uh, I want to show you what some of the law bots and stuff look like real quick. So, I, if I remember correctly, we got two different kinds of law bots. Let me take a look at my Kickstarter packing list here. We got, uh, let's see here. 14 deputy law bots, 10 sheriff law bots, 4 martial law bots, 3 cavalry soldier law bots, 3 cavalry captain law bots, 3 pallbearer law bots, and 2 preacher law bots. Because they're, it's, you know, it, it is Soda Pop, and, and they are uh, proponents of pop culture and just, you know, loving everything there is to know about nerd culture and everything like that. So let's take a look at some of these characters. This uh, is not Boba Fett. Uh, this is Chui. I think I probably pronounced that incorrectly, but he's pretty awesome. This is... Tazak Geronimo. Looks to be kind of a, a Native, Native American type character. We have... Ooh, who are you? You're cool looking. With a big ass sword. You... Are rhinestone. This is Josie Oakley. This is one of my favorite designs. This character is called Pearl Heart. She's kind of a saloon girl. She's got the cards and the uh, little Tony Storm esque hat there. If you're a wrestling fan, and a uh, nice little six shooter. We have Kingsman. Here he is. The 60 billion double dollar man. Not Bash the Stampede, but Typhoon. Not Billy, but just the kid. Huckleberry. And we won't deliver that as poorly as the voice actor who did McCree did in Overwatch. We will not say, I am your Huckleberry. This is Thorn, which uh, is totally not Spike Spiegel. Spike. You know, the beauty is that the, 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 the good people at Ninja Division will be the first to tell you that, yeah, no, these are 100% love letters to uh, the things that they adore. Stuff like Cowboy Bebop and uh, old, school, old school video games and Firefly and... Uh, Star Wars and all this other stuff. These are 100% love letters and just tributes to things that they adore. This is J.R. Dallas, and uh, not to be confused with J.R. from Dallas, uh, because as we know, when you play Dallas, you play the win. There she's, uh, Wishlin' Pete. The old prospector, I think. This is the hero of Canton, not Jane Cobb. This, Bang Bang, is Cactus Zack. And we have the kind of mascots of uh, Soda Pop miniatures. Uh, we have uh, Cow Puncher Candy. And... El Cola. So along with those, we still have all of these guys to go through. These That's probably another 30 or so Lawbots in there. Um, 
Not sure how the game plays yet, but from what I've seen on videos, it looks a lot of fun. Uh, looks like it's pretty easy to pick up, and if you can understand the hand of poker, you can understand this game. Um, I think this is going to be a good one to pick up, guys. Uh, I've never been disappointed by anything that Soda Pop Miniatures does, uh, and this one was a long time coming. They worked, uh, they worked really hard on this game, um, and you know, it's. I've seen a lot of people get really angry about uh, games being delayed on Kickstarter, uh, and I can understand it. I'm not going to say I don't under, I don't, I don't get it, but because I, I do, I, I totally get it. Um, but there's something that uh, Shigeru Miyamoto. Um, the brainchild, you know, the, the kind of the 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 the, the guy at Nintendo uh, has said, um, and coming from a video game development background, it means it it, it's, it rings true. Um, a late game is late once. A bad game is bad forever. So I would rather that companies like Soda Pop and companies like um, the guys behind uh, Arcadia Quest, uh, Coolman, you're not uh, take their time to get the game right and take their time to put out a product that is going to work and be fun to play rather than just rush to release a title and have it be terrible. I've backed some stinkers. I've backed some really promising looking games that uh, just didn't deliver. And uh, I've never had that experience with Soda Pop. Might take a couple months longer than what they anticipated, but at least when they get it done, they get it done the right way. So uh, that's it for this unboxing, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this is Rail Raiders Infinite from Soda Pop Miniatures and Ninja Division. Uh, it'll be available soon. Uh, I'm pretty sure it debuted at Gen Con this last week and uh, should be at your retailers fairly soon. Uh, so you'll be able to order it through them. Um, but have fun. Play more games. Bye.